No, I ain't pitch a dick, nigga down bad, broke on my dick Just a young nigga tryna get rich We finessing out this pack, hit him with some counterfixin' If he come to get it back, then he gon' run into a stick Finessing and I'm skimming, I do bad shit for a reason People coming, people leaving, I can't show it, but I'm greedy If I can't change the world, then why the fuck I'm even breathing? Why the fuck I'm even here? I'm tired of saying this my ear Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Young Versace back with another video, man. And today, I do have the best shooting badge tutorial in NBA 2K20. Using this method, you will be able to get your shooting badges as fast as possible, man. As you can see, I did unlock 30 out of 30 shooting badges with this method on my sharpshooter, man. And now I'm working on my point guard, man. So I'm finna break it down. I'm finna show y'all exactly what to do to, the, to do this method. I'm finna show y'all exactly Exactly what you need and first things first the main thing that you will need is like a hot zone you don't need this but it will greatly help you while you was getting these badges bro you want a hot zone bro and it don't matter which part of the three-point line the hot zone is on but basically you do just want a hot zone man and my favorite spot to shoot from is the right side the right wing man and that's my bread and butter man but you do want to have like a little hot zone where you can shoot from you can equip boost to help you you don't need it and the other thing you do want is either a range extender or a um, hot zone hunter man you want like probably silver range silver hot zone and it will greatly benefit you while you're doing this man and basically what you want to do is you want to do a positional play call from one of the guards on your team by hitting L1, R1, and then holding that guard's icon, man. It is that simple, and what this does is when the guard sets the screen, you will notice that your defender will back up, man. And as soon as your defender backs up, that is when you pull it, man. Simple, man, it's not complicated at all. As you can see, positional play call X. X is gonna come set the screen. My defender going back up and I pull it, man. And this works 99.9% .9 of the time. You don't have to worry about them um, pressing up and actually holding you. And the difficulty you do this on doesn't really matter. If you're a really good shooter, you will be able to do this on Hall of Fame. But if you miss a lot of three-pointers, you just probably want to start off on pro 12-minute quarters. Go ahead and um, get the um, hang of it first before you start putting up the difficulty. But... You will still get a lot of shooting badge um, points even when you are playing on pro if you do this on 12 minute quarters and just go crazy all game. Another thing is, you can see I just got takeover, man. Team takeover will help you while you're doing this. As you can see, I'm not even a shooting build, but takeover still gives me more greens for some reason. I feel like it is in the 2K game. And to get team takeover, I think you have to have like a 75% team chemistry. Once again, you do not need team takeover while you're doing this method it's just that team takeover lasts way longer than regular takeover and it will allow you to get a lot more shots up and a lot more shots made another thing is sometimes you will get double teamed and once they start to double team you you don't want to shoot it man you just want to pass it to the open man and then the next possession they will not be double teaming you no more man so once they start double teaming you just pass it to the open man in the next possession they will not be double teaming you no more as you can see what i just did that is a bump steal man that is how you get a lot of steals in my career let me know if y'all want me to drop a video on how to do that but basically as you can see i just do the positional play call every Every single time in the same spot they were double teaming me this time so I went ahead and passed it next possession they are not double teaming no longer and basically you do just want to call a positional play call your defender will back up and then you shoot it there is nothing else more to it or nothing else too complicated about this method and like I said a hot zone hunter will help you because you notice that I am shooting in the same spot and hot zone hunter really helps me when you're shooting in the same spot and it is a hot zone another badge you might want is range extender because if you don't have range extender you're gonna have to make sure you're actually at the three-point line before you call um the um, screen from your guard you want to make sure you're actually close to the three-point line but if you do have like a gold or a silver range extender you don't have to be exactly at the three-point line and this method will still work as you can see, I've been going crazy with it all game and I went ahead and dropped 
almost I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop 60 on the opponent just in one game and I'm not gonna lie this was five minute quarters man I was doing this on five minute quarters just to demonstrate for the video of course but if I was really trying to grind these badges I will go ahead and put this game on I'd probably say all-star because I am a pure playmaker and another thing about a non-shooting build a pure playmaker is a non-shooting build so suppose I make 18 out of 26 shots at this game a shooting build or a halfway shooting build would be able to get like 12,000, 13,000 towards um, a badge progression off one game. A pure sharp would probably get like 18, 20k off one game. But since I am a pure playmaker, which is a non shooting build, I'm only gonna get like 6,000. And I was only on five minute quarters. This didn't even take me that long. So if I did go ahead and bump it up to 12 minute quarters, I'd be getting probably 12,000, 11,000 a game on a non shooting build. Imagine if you were on a shooting build you will definitely get one shooting badge per game with this method man and as you can see i'm about to pull up the game events man i went 18 for 26 man i went 18 for 26 this game that is incredibly good this is a very reliable method man and you will shoot at least 70 percent with this method if you are doing it correctly as you can see I did go crazy on a non-shooting build with five minute quarters, man. And that's really the method, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much longer, you feel me? Just make sure y'all hit that subscribe right now. Right now, you feel me? And make sure you turn on post notifications too. Hey, that's the method for y'all boys. Let me know if y'all want more content like this because I got it, man. Versace signing out. Peace.